Good evening, everyone. Uh, Gavin McHughes, my name. I'm a uh, um, orthopedic surgeon based in a sports surgery clinic in uh, uh, Dublin. Um, Fiona has uh, kindly asked me to say a few words on the cross-border initiative based on, on, on my perspective of it, I suppose. Um, so my area of expertise is, is hip and knee. Um, and within that there, my, I, I suppose I, I mainly do a lot of hip replacements. Um, knee replacements, partial knee replacements, and then soft tissue knee work such as um, arthroscopies and uh, crucial ligament reconstructions. Um, within the clinic as well, we've a, we've a broad area of expertise that covers really all the, the um, subspecialties, including spine, uh, upper limb from uh, the shoulder, elbow and hand, um, and obviously then foot and ankle as well. Uh, and um, I, I think over the last few years that I've been here, I, I've um, really a, a huge part of my practice has, has grown uh, into the, um, or from based on the, the cross-border initiative. Um, and uh, I certainly have had uh, dealt with a lot of, a lot of happy customers from the uh, north. Um, from um, my point of view, really, I, I say to people, that, like, and it is obviously people are coming down and they're a little bit skeptical over what exactly is involved. Um, and I, I said to people, I, I haven't really seen any catches in, in the whole process. It actually has been quite streamless, and, and, the, and the, um, the, they've done a lot of work in the cross border office to really to make it as, as easy for, for patients as possible. Now, from a sort of um, principal point of view, lots of people have, have, have issues with, with regards to um, moving away slightly from the, the NHS. Um, and I, I completely understand that. But from, from my point of view, when I'm seeing patients who are, who are in a really bad uh, way and are looking at witness that are potentially years and years long, I mean, I think ultimately you have to make a call that's right for, for yourself. Uh, and I, I say to people, if that means being being selfish for once, well, well so be it. Um, I certainly don't have any uh, problems with that. Um, and we have a similar process here in terms of lots of patients end up going the other direction and we also there are lots of witness things such as the treatment purchase fund that, that are that are going on all the time and ultimately I say to people there, there has to be a safety net there for people because this is another concern the patients have um, and ultimately the, the NHS is still responsible for your care so if you're on a waiting list for a hip replacement and I perform the hip replacement if there's a problem in, in the, if the few weeks after the surgery, I certainly deal with it. There's no issue with regards to that. If there's a problem down the line, your, your consultant up north is, is um, bound to, to still look after you. And, and the same works, works both ways here. So you can be, be rest assured that it's not something that you're going to be, be left be, behind on. And in terms of, of what you get, I mean, and I can quite safely say that um, the care you receive in the sports surgery clinic is state of the art and among the best in the world, I'm happy to say. Um, and uh, there, as I said, there are no real catches in, in the care. The, the, and I say to everyone, this is something that I've really fought for over the years and that the price that, that, that the clinic um, gave you for, for, for the job is, is the price you pay. And if there was any problems and you stay in another night or two in hospital, there's no issues with regards to, to that. You know, Essentially what we want we want you, you you're doing well following your procedure. We want you going home safe. We want you going home pain controlled, um, and um, uh, and ultimately, as I say, doing doing well. And um, so, in terms of just uh, say what what I do in terms of the uh, the breakdown, the vast majority of pa patients that I see are either hip or knee replacements, um, and um, I, I mean that that really speaks for itself within within. A, a hip is a hip in many ways in that um, by, by the, the time that people have developed a lot of pain, really the only option for them is, is a hip replacement. Um, and there are various methods of putting this in and various different types of prosthesis, but they're really on a par nowadays. Um, in terms of um, knee replacements, there are, there are slightly more options um, in that there are, I, I have particular interest in partial knee replacements rather than just full knee replacements. And quite often, Lots of patients I'll see have been uh, told that they, they needed a full knee replacement and, and I'll end up offering them potentially a partial, which is advantages in terms of the recovery process and indeed the, the knee that they have um, afterwards down, down the road. And um, one other 
area that I, I, I sort of really developed an area of, of, of interest in is potentially looking at having both joints done at, at the same time, as in either both hips together or both knees together. Um, and this is something that potentially sounds quite daunting to, to patients initially, but obviously the huge advantage in it is, is getting everything over with one operation and um, one recovery process. And uh, again, particularly when, it, when I'm saying people who are really in quite a bad way um, and, and plenty of them barely able to walk, I think it offers huge advantages in terms of, of, of um, getting the um, uh, back on track again. Um, and um, again, it's not going to be something for everyone, but pretty much every week I'll do um, one or two patients with both hips and, and the same potentially with both knees. Um, and again, just back to the partial knee then, when uh, that, that's, it's obviously much easier to have both knees done if you're just getting partial knees done. Um, I'm not gonna lie to people and say that having both knees replaced at the same time is an easy thing to go through. It certainly isn't, but um, often it's, it's a real case of grabbing the bull by the horns and, uh, and, and just getting on with it and trying to get, get really your life back on track again. Um, so, and, and really that's it from my point of view, as I say, it's pretty, pretty straightforward the, the entire process. We let, we've, we've done a lot of work to try and make it as seamless as possible for people. And um, uh, the, we'll try to combine uh, the pre-assessment that as in the medical check that you get on the same day as the consultation in, in so far as it's possible. And then really all it, apart from the surgery itself, uh, which is usually for a hip or knee replacement, usually around three nights in hospital. And then all, all that will, uh, will be involved is one post-operative check you, around the six uh, week mark for me. And I, the different consultants might vary slightly in that, but for me, that's um, the, the entire process. So as I say, it's as, as seamless as we, we can make it. Um, and really that's it from, from my point of view. I'm happy to see everyone and, and, and have a look and certainly give my, my opinion. And um, um, I, I, often, I often laugh the pe people saying, you know, sir, uh, or doctors differ, patients suffer, and really that's not the truth. In many ways, it, it's, it's very important that, that, I, that I see you beforehand and make sure that I'm happy with, with the, the, the choice of procedure that has been uh, recommended for you, and we can certainly have a discussion in that regard. Um, and, and I look forward to see, seeing many more patients. Thank you very much.